Welcome to Bozeman Health, everyone. Yeah. Hi, my name is Chelsea English, and I am the union representative for the operating room. And the way that I got involved was maybe a little over a year ago. Um, nobody had been in that role for my department for a couple of years, and I felt like there was a little bit of a void in communication. And so I wanted to step up and do it and just be that liaison so that when changes were happening with our union, at least our department was aware of them or maybe had a say in them. And it really has evolved into, um, I am involved with making those changes now with both the union leaders and the nursing leaders. Um, and we make those decisions for the contracts that we negotiate and then anything that needs to happen in between as well. Um, so I've kind of become this team person for my department where if anybody wants to see changes happen, they can come to me and then I can also communicate or get feedback on what should happen. Hi everybody, my name is Matt Larson. I'm co-president of our union and I currently am working in the cath lab. Hi, I'm Lisa Regan. I'm co-president with Matt and I work in the NICU. Hi, I'm Mo McGrath. I am uh, the surgical unit represented, representative. I'm B Bowman. I am the secretary and your medical unit representative. Hi, I'm Joanne Schmidt and I am the representative for the critical care unit. Hi, I'm Amy Hoschild and I work for Montana Nurses Association and I am the labor rep for local number four for your union. Hi everyone, my name is McKenna Sellers. I'm also staff for Montana Nurses Association as the labor organizer and we're really glad you can join us for this recording for your RN new union member orientation video. All right, so I'll kick us off. I'm going to give, kind of give everyone an overview of um, what it means to be in a union, what our local does, and kind of some of the things you can expect if you've never been in a union before. So we'll post all this. This is all of our contact information if you need us. Basically, what a union does is it gives um, employees an opportunity to work together to make the changes in our hours, um, in our working conditions, and in our wages with the organizations we work for. So our union is called Montana Nurses Association. It's also the professional association for the state. Um, and as an MNA member here at Bozeman Health, you'll be um, part of the MNA local number four. We're also affiliated with some national unions, some national organizations. Um, so you're also a member of the American Federation of Teachers and Healthcare Professionals. Um, we're associated with the American Nurses Association. So you're really part of not only this local hospital community, but a huge community statewide and even nationally of people working to create, you know, better conditions for nurses and our patients. MNA, the Montana Nurses Association, is, like I said, also our professional development organization for the state. Um, so not only do we have our collective bargaining or union end, which, you know, we'll see here at the hospital, but MNA does a lot more as well. So we do professional development um, through all kinds of credentialing, through um, education, things like that. And then we also do some legislative ad advocacy. MNA really pushes hard for legislation that helps nurses, helps us stay safe, helps us um, do better jobs in our roles. So we are your MNA local number four representatives. We're your coworkers. And uh, words that come up for me about who we are and what we do is we're your advocates and representatives. So if you have questions about what our working conditions are or how to interpret the contract, come to us and we can answer those questions for you. So on a routine basis, you'll see us at orientation or at monthly meetings with our hospital leadership. And we call those our PCC meetings. And th that's an opportunity for us to talk about things that are going on in the units, uh, what we're hearing, if there's uh, improvements that we could make when we're not in negotiations for a contract. But our contract negotiations is also something that we uh, take the role to represent all of you in. And that uh, can happen on a two-year, three-year term, which is a, something that we negotiate. We negotiate that timeline. But then that's our opportunity to make large changes to what our nursing contract looks like. So some of the benefits of your membership, you are now a member of the American Nurses Association. You have the opportunity for advancement in your um, education. They supply us with um, CEs, um, they help with getting your certifications in the specialty areas that you may work in. Um, you have access to webinars and conferences, 
And one of the great things is our uh, Montana Nurses Association conference that happens every year in October, which is great fun and way to network through the, through the state and learn about what people are doing everywhere else. Um, and as you become more involved, you become more of the family that we are. Your dues breakdowns, um, again, you can see this on the screen, it's 62.80 a month. Um, your MA operations is 36.13, and that goes towards um, helping pay for uh, the legislation action that we may need, um, workplace advocacies and collective bargaining. The national support is where we fall under the American Federation of Teachers. Again, the ANA support is your 1217. Um, a dollar goes towards local activities and a dollar goes to district activities. And those are those CEs and like going to the conferences that are provided by MNA every year. Now to the nitty gritty of the contract, which should be in your folder. Um, the differentials are on page. 31 currently, subject to change. Um, these are some differentials that we get here at Bozeman Health. Uh, we do a night shift differential um, for any hours between 1900 and 0730. Weekend differential from Friday at 1900 to Monday at 0700. Um, there are very, various different call pays um, depending on what unit you work in. Um, we do um, have a certification differential at this hospital, so if any of you are currently certified, make sure your manager and HR and Workday have a copy of that so you can get paid for it. And if anyone isn't certified and would like to be, um, go to m &A's website for information on that or ANA's. Um, if anyone has a master's degree in nursing, there's an added differential for that. Um, eventually, when you have been here a while, if you're asked to step into a preceptor role or a team leader role, which is the same thing as a charge nurse, um, there are added differentials for that. If you are floating to other units, um, if you are PRN or casual call, there's an added differential. And then the very last line there, you'll see the performance ex excellence differential. Um, that is complete for the current year that we're in, um, but um, there's a possibility there is a similar component in future contracts. So just be aware that there, um, there sometimes is an excellent uh, extra differential for going above and beyond. So those are the most common differentials. Um, on the right side of the slide, that premium pay, that is your differentials for working extra. So moat one is when you pick up in advance above your FTE. Moat two is when you pick up with less than 24 hours notice, that one is time and a half. And moat three um, is rare occasions when um, Maybe there's a sick call or really high census or um, some um, critical need where um, the hospital is offering a higher differential to pick up that shift. So just be aware that those exist um, when you're being asked to pick up extra. And then on page 34, 35, um, this is our wage scale. As you can see, we have currently negotiated contracts through 2023. So um, we've already negotiated um, the raises that you will get in 2023. But starting in 2023, we will start negotiating for future raises 2024 and beyond. So this will look a little bit different um, for future years, but we do always try to follow a similar format. Um, where each year you gain an experience, you do get a raise for that extra year of knowledge and experience. So the way you read this is wherever you currently are. So take um, somebody with zero years of experience in 2022. If you're wondering what you will make in 2023, you move over right one to that 2023 scale and then down one because you now have another year experience. 
At the top of the scale below 2022 and 2023, you'll see that 8% and the 5%. That is the amount um, of raise that, that those steps and moves um, calculate to. So pretty significant raises these couple of years, especially considering we were in the middle of a pandemic. Also, I always like to tell everyone to make sure you are on the step that you think you should be at. So um, years of experience are calculated based off your resume upon hire and the hospital only um, gives full credit, no, only gives credit for full years experience. So if you've been a, one, a nurse one year and 11 months, you're gonna be placed at step one um, because you haven't completed that second full year yet. So if there are any, um, if there's any confusion about where you're placed or um, you don't feel like you're placed in the right spot, please reach out to your manager and HR um, so that we can get that corrected and looked at sooner rather than later. A couple of things that I wanna to draw to your attention and so, uh, by working at Bozeman Health and being a member of Local uh, 4, um, it is a mandatory subject of your employment that you either join your union or make other arrangements uh, to take care of that obligation. There is, under the law, there's a couple other things that you can do. You could be a religious objector or what they call a Beck objector. And so you can contact m &A for more uh, information about the objector status. Um, you do have a 90 day grace period in order to join your union. And let's remember that the reason that local number four is strong is because they have a, a lot of good members and they're a strong union. And so they're really well positioned to advocate for you as new nurses and for um, the currently employed nurses as well. Um, that's called article two membership in your contract. Another aspect that I'd like to draw your attention to is Article 16, Discipline and Discharge. Unique to your contract is the concept of using just cause for discipline. And so the employer has to have a really good reason about why they want to discipline you. And just cause is actually a legal principle. It, it encompasses like seven or eight different aspects. But so needless to say, um, there needs to be a lot of thought and preparation on the employer's part before you get disciplined. And so another part that uh, Article 16B provides for is known as your wine garden rates. And wine garden is the guarantee that a union nurse has the right to have a union representative with them at any meeting that could be investigatory or which could lead to discipline or any step of your disciplinary process. They call that the progressive performance improvement process, PIP process. And so uh, rest assured that your union reps are here to go to meetings with you. And um, please do understand that your manager might be forthcoming and let you know that, hey, you're entitled to a union rep. If you want one, make arrangements to get one. Or you might have to drill down a little harder and say, well, why are we meeting today? And, and then determine that the meeting is yes, investigatory, and or we're gonna follow up on something, we're doing an investigation, we wanna ask you questions. And then you would need to sing out and uh, affirmatively uh, invoke your Weingarten rights. And, and that just means calling one of your reps, you know how to get a hold of them, call them and, and see if we can make arrangements for someone to go to the meeting with you. Another really important part about your union rights that is provided for in your contract is called an assignment despite objection form, ADO. And that is a document which you would complete should you feel that your assignment is unsafe or you don't have the training, you don't have the help, you're being asked to use a piece of equipment you don't know how to use. If you have any questions about an ADO, you could certainly ask one of your team leads one of your union reps, you can always call me and my information is here on this slide. Thank you. One of the reasons I got involved was because I wanted to know what was going on to be part of our decision-making and being having my voice heard. It's just really great to know that you have a voice, we have a voice and we're able to, you know, look at our contract and say, hey, you know, these are the things that I like about this, but these are the things I'd like to change. 
And if, you know, if you're going into a new negotiation, you can talk to, you know, your union rep or be part of that um, decision making. And it's just really awesome that, you know, that that our voices can be heard. Um, we're really only as strong as our membership involvement. So I really encourage everyone to get involved. Um, it's your responsibility to know um, your rights and how you get paid. So know this contract, know, you know, your your wage scale. So this way you can go back and go, hey, this is this is right. This is how I'm supposed to be paid. And this is, these are my rights. And this, this is what we're supposed to follow. Um, so that's really, my message is to say just get involved and know what your um, know know what your contract is. In your folder in front of you, you should have the form to get signed up. Um, you have a ninety day grace period to get that signed, get it signed up and mailed in or faxed in. Um, if anyone in the room is a new grad. Um, there is a uh, reduced rate, so make sure you get that in while that still applies to you. And that's a brief overview of um, your union here at Bozeman Health. We'd like to welcome everyone and feel free to reach out with any other questions, concerns, anything at all. Um, you can check out m &A's website and you have all of our contact info. See you out on the floor.